Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to install my version of Elephant Moai's Node Editor on Windows. And I'm not a Windows user, and so I just learned how to do this, and so it's gonna. This is gonna be an awkward video, but let's let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is install Git for Windows. So, Git install Windows. Download Git for Windows. You'll install by following this link, and there's a long installation process, and I think you. It asks you a bunch of questions, but you can always just pick the default answer for everything. Uh, once it's installed, you want to click here and then go to Git. I'm confused. Uh, go to Git Bash. Uh, it'd be under G as well. Why is everything so slow? Git Bash. And if you right click on Git Bash, not left click, right click and then select more and then run as administrator that's important yes cool all right so the first thing we're going to do is on the left here in our internet explorer we're going to go to github.com slash ncallen that's my, that's me slash elephant uh, and we are going to click here under code and then this copy thing it's like it's going to copy that url for us then in our little uh, shell for for git over here on the right uh, i'm going to cd uh, tilde app data slash uh, remote uh, something Roaming, roaming, do that. CD Moy. Uh, and here, I'm going to type git clone, and then I'm going to paste this link that I just copied. I don't really know how to do anything in Windows, so we're going to use the mouse. And then we hit enter. Awesome. First step completed. Now, the second step is on the right hand side of this page here under tags releases we're going to click on that link and here under assets there's some stuff here we're going to download these two files cool and then that one cool chill uh, and then back in our little git shell we're going to go to the main moai program executable directory which is in C program files, backslash files, okay. Moi, M O I capital I, I'm hitting tab and it'll fill in the rest for me. You'll notice that spaces have a backslash in front of them. It's just the way bash works. Um, now, we are gonna make changes to some of the commands here and, and a little bit of the UI as well. And we're going to use Git to apply a packed file, but even if we weren't going to do that, it's good to like version control all this stuff. So if we make a stupid change that we want to undo at some point, we can do that easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say git init, um, and then I'm going to so that creates a Git repository. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to say git add dot which says take the files that are all already there and we're gonna add them to the repository. We can ignore all these messages. It has to do with the way uh, Windows and Unix uh, deal with new lines differently. Um, and then we've added them to the repository and then just to say we wanna be totally sure, like uh, yes, we wanna add them for sure. We're gonna say git commit and then I'm gonna say dash M for message. And then I'm just gonna put some quotes here. You don't really need to do this. Uh, I just say initial commit. So what we did is we made a copy sort of of the original version of Moai or, uh, so that if we make changes to it in the future, we can always roll back and go back to the original version. And that's just like a smart thing to do in general. It has not, it's not so much 
has to do with elephant, but it is going to help us a little bit. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply those two patch files that we downloaded, these two guys. Okay, so the first thing uh, from C program, foil, program files moi trial, we are going to type git am dash dash directory commands dash dash nor white space space tilde downloads uh, commands dot patch and hit enter that worked I'm pretty sure uh, now the next thing to do so we're going to do a similar command, but for a different directory. I'm going to hit up on the arrow key. And so I'm just going to change things a little bit. So you can ignore, yeah, I mean, just do this in your fashion. Uh, this is going to be UI. And this is going to be UI. And then we're going to hit Enter. And that should have just worked. Uh, just to under just to help explain maybe what the hell I just did, I'm gonna type git log, and that is gonna show us like the history of all the changes we made, and we should see uh, a couple entries. These messages are both the same, which is confusing, but that's my fault. But that's the two patches we applied on top of the initial commit, which is like the bare version of Moai without any modifications. Now, this is cross your fingers gonna work oh my god it actually worked uh, and then just to make sure this isn't gonna explode because it probably will explode mm -hmm. cool I'm so nervous right now I'm gonna throw up oh my god it worked Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so that's basically how you install things with Moai. Okay, so I'm going to show you finally how to add some sh keyboard shortcuts that might be useful. Okay, two of which are definitely useful, the other ones maybe. Uh, I recommend binding to up arrow and down arrow. So uh, starting from scratch, let me delete that. I kicked up arrow, okay. And then this is bound to show previous history item. I still do not. There, okay. And then let's add a down arrow, which is show the next history item. Enter, close. Um, and so, for example, if I remove this and I hit up, yeah, those nodes are automatically created. OK, there's a couple more uh, commands. And the way you would make them is you would uh, add a key binding where you type, for example, copy to clipboard. That's this first one here. And there's a bunch of these which I think some of them will be useful. Just for context, you there, notice there's a difference. These two have dot graph in them. The rest of them just don't, which I should make consistent for the future. But anyway, that's it. Just a, and a final reminder, the stuff is super experimental. It is alpha, not beta quality. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm glad you're trying it. Once you're done playing with it, you may want to uninstall it. And so how do you uninstall it? Uh, the simplest thing to do is, uh, maybe I should have shown this in a different way. Well, um, this, so here, let me clear this just to start over. Oops, let me clear this just to start over. Um, in C program foils, files moi trial, we can undo the changes that we've made if we want by uh, 
looking at our log and we see that this is our first commit, the one that's like the unmodified version of Moai. And then these are the two patches we made on it. This might be confusing, but what I'm going to do is say git checkout dash b elephant. That means I'm going to create a branch called elephant that has all the patches on it. And then uh, I'm going to say git uh, checkout master to go back. Oh, git, sorry, git checkout main. That's the more politically correct version. And then uh, it might be called master on your install. It's uh, one of the settings that you do when you install git. And then this original commit, the one associated with, with, uh, with that, I'm just going to don't, don't try this at home, kids. I mean, do try this at home, but be careful. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So just to be clear, what, what I just did is not something that I recommend to beginners, but I did it anyway. I rewrote history. So the main branch has just the initial commit. And then there's a git checkout elephant, which will have all of the commits. And then I can go back to main. And that quickly, you know, elephant is installed or uninstalled. Voila, no elephant, right? OK, I'm sure that was confusing if you're not a git user. But uh, I'm in. Uh, I'm in the Discord all the time these days, so may as well pop in and ask a question if you want to. Okay. <laughs>